somebody with a testimony, get behind our brother and march up over the wooden hill. Just keep on coming. One behind the other. Now, are you interested in this? Now, if somebody tells you that nothing happened in the tent meeting of Adrian of 2020, dig out your ears and listen. Tell us what God did. Well, I had stomach aches and pains and all my life for about 20-some years, every single day. I have not had one since this brother prayed for me. My lungs has been so filled up that doctors couldn't even tell me what was wrong with them. They tried to tell me, and they tried to put me on everything they could, but I refused it over the years, and I've been perfectly healed. I ain't breathed such better in all these days that I've been at this revival. And the brother also prayed for me for a gift. He said that God put upon me was a gift of healing. When I was holding my signs after I got done, the Lord put it on my heart to go into the hospital. Now, he knew that I feared to go into them places in my life because I don't like to be sick. But I went in there, and there was a guy. Before I went in there, they said, well, hold on. You have to put this mask on. And I said, well, if I have to put on a mask to pray for these people, I'll put it on. And a guy jumped up. He said, it's my dad. He's in there dying. And I told him about this gift that God gives upon everybody, and it's called a gift of healing, how he wants to heal everybody. And I, I got a chance to tell him about Jesus, and he accepted Jesus in his heart. And I want to let you know, the doctor says that his dad was real bad and that he was going to die, but you know what? His dad lived. His dad didn't die. The prayer of faith saved his dad's life. And if it wasn't for Brother Freddie coming here and prayers for him coming here, this wouldn't have happened. And I just want to thank him. And give the credit where the credit's due. Oh, praise God. Hang on a second. I'm going to go get my healing chair. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. Just can't fall down through the cracks here. About 10 o'clock at night, I have to sit in this thing. I never used to have to do it. Oh, Roberts told us kids, sit down when you pray for the sick. You prolong your ministry. I said, I'll never do that. Now look at me. And what did God do for you? God touched my legs, gave me new kneecaps, and he took the fluid all around my heart and off my legs. I feel great, and I'm so thankful. I love the Lord. That is so wonderful. Now, you people listen to these testimonies long enough. You liable to get healed before you get up here. God touched my legs, and you told me things about myself I didn't know, but I'm claiming healing over my heart, and my stomach is better. Yeah. So, God knows what he's talking about. Give God credit for having a brain. God is healing me of anxiety and depression. That I've suffered for so many years, and I'm so thankful. And he's also healing my toe, my, my big toes, because they've got some kind of a toe fungus or something that has come on them. But I believe in Jesus' name that it's going to be restored 100%. Praise God. Amen. And what did God do? He healed my back, and... Uh, my arthritis out of my toes, a couple other things. But I, I learned the most that whatever, if when he speaks through you to me, it doesn't matter what you tell me. I just believe it. It's just like I know he's watching me. I know I feel it. And I'll tell you what, the other night I asked you about that uh, helping me to rule my own spirit. The scripture said a man needs to rule his own spirit. And after I did that, you prayed for me, and the last couple of days have been really peaceful. I'm, I'm getting a better grip on this, and I really feel something different. So I'm thankful, so thankful for that. Hold on a minute. I, gotta, I have to keep uh, – is that thing running? Oh, good, 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 because I want this to go on the YouTube and let these people see around the world 
you folks getting healed and testifying to it. God bless. All right. Well, God gave me a new leg and a new knee, but all this week I've been having pain because the devil's been kind of working on me. Yep, God healed you. Amen. Yep, he's going to keep you healing too. Resist the reoccurring symptom. It will flee from you. Um, you prayed for my heart and my blood pressure, and I haven't had any more chest pains. Last Wednesday, I had chest pains. Thursday, they were gone. And my blood pressure seems to be doing better. You got a new heart, too. got a new heart. You got a new heart. Are you getting their face on that camera here? Is it full? I got this chair in the way. Am I in the way? Okay, I'll take you boys' word for it that you're, you're getting educated now. God delivered me from sugar. I don't have that anymore. God gave me hips. And I have no stomach pains. Sugar's gone. Imagine that. No more stomach pain. Well, I got a new hip, a new knee, and I had uh, arthritis in my hands. And I did not go through the line through this, but you prayed for some people for their breathing yes. and I got a touch I got some <laughs> I can breathe better I was having a little bit of issues with that you claimed it when they got I healed sure did. well that's how it works like spontaneous combustion <laughs> my feet are on the mend and uh, you also said that I was going to get a financial miracle yes. and uh, starting Monday after next I had a job coming up and it's just uh, tripled in value to me so just the tip of the iceberg, I'm believing. What? Tripled in value? Yeah, tripled in value. What did? The job that I have coming up. Well, you can't beat that. I, I love prophecy. It always comes to pass. It says in the Bible, by his stripes, I am healed. Praise ye the Lord. I am healed by my ascetic nerves. And I have, I had, um... Dizzy spells. Praise the Lord. Woo. I'm so thankful God uh, touched my leg, and, um, and I love him. And, and uh, I, uh, it's my come here every night, and I feel better every time I come in here. You feel better every time you come in here. Mm. Well, when we're gone, we're going to have Pastor draw a circle, 60 wide and 160 long. And you folks grab a chair and come down here and sit. And reminisce. The Lord, um, like, healed my throat because it would be hurting all the time. It, and um, he healed my feet because every single time I would stand, then it would start hurting really badly. Uh, my pancreas as well, um, really badly as yeah. Amazing. So many wonderful things happen to such a young girl. God bless you. That's a good testimony. Yes, God did wonderful for my migraines, my thyroid, and my left leg. Say that again. He did my left leg, my left thyroid, leg. and my migraines. Left leg, thyroid, and? Thyroid. And the, third, and the third thing was what? Leg. Leg. Okay. <laughs> well, I got caught up for an old man. I did pretty good getting caught up there. Um, the Lord touched me in arthritis, my hearing, um, diabetes, and um, the thyroid, and it changed my metabolism. And I have had so much more energy than what I did before. Now that's beautiful. God bless you. Well, Dad, tell us. Well, the Lord healed my right arm. It's uh, got more strength now than it ever has had since, right yeah, since I injured it. It's got a lot more strength. Got a lot more strength down this arm. Keep exercising the muscle, though. You like what I'm doing, you mean? Well, see how I'm doing it. That's how you do it. <laughs> it don't hurt. Well, how could it? You're healed. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe I lay on my right, left side. I made a where as calm as can be. Have it out there. It don't stiffen me so much or nothing like that neither. And you feel good now. My heart and all that's good too. Well, my goodness, you you must have got a general overhaul. Oh yeah. Now listen to this one. Uh, so in 2008, I got in a car accident, and I've been to chiropractors. I've been in just extreme pain. And on the first night, um, we're driving, and I just said, the Lord's going to heal my neck tonight. And that's exactly what you prayed for, what God told you to pray for. I've had zero neck pain whatsoever. Also, last year I got an injury, and I haven't been able to bend over without pain. I haven't even been able to put my shoes on without pain. My back was prayed for, and I've had zero back pain when bending over. That, that's a big deal. It's a big deal. And I know God's got more to do on me still. Also, I didn't know something with my metabolism and my thyroid, although people have told me that. I never got, went to the doctor for it, but God showed that to you, and that's healed in Jesus' name. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hallelujah. Um. I was sick for over a month, which is very rare. I don't ever, barely ever get sick, especially this time of the year. And it was draining all the strength and, and uh, energy. I even lost a few pounds, which I don't have to spare. And you prayed on me three days ago, and the Lord healed my body. I woke up the next day just full of strength and energy and renewed. Praise the Lord. I'll tell you what, I'm getting encouraged. Sometimes, you know. The preacher has to be encouraged. He just runs out of gas. And he winds down. Especially when you've done it for 60 straight years. But you hear the likes of something like that. It just picks and perks you up. Here's a sister that dances a lot. I just love to see her dance. Well, uh, the Lord is good to me. Um, I got a double portion, just like I said. Uh, I said... To Sister Johnson over there the first night I, after I wasn't here the, when she got her double blessing or her financial blessing but I claimed a double portion and it wasn't necessarily a financial blessing that I was looking for I just said Lord I want a double portion of your spirit and I got that because two of my granddaughters went in that tank and I'm praising the Lord for that and then um, I was fed uh, coca-cola in a bottle as an infant so um, you were right, osteoporosis, and um, they wanted to do a bunch of shots and everything, and I was like, no, I'm just going to trust the Lord, but meanwhile, I'll just keep worship him and giving him all, giving all I can until I can't no more, Amen. and uh, yeah. so the Lord healed me, and I, he also gave me a double portion of that because I had a, I had a rotor cuff deal going on, and when I felt that warm sensation, sorry, uh, I could feel that healing take place, and then the next day, I felt a tender spot here, and I told my husband, I said, that's just scar tissue that the Lord's put on there to protect that new tissue, so that's what I'm believing God for, so I thank the Lord for that. Now, little babies, your granny's a little long-winded, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Oh, yeah. Yes, I thank the Lord for healing my blood pressure, and I had a major surgery, and they put me on a ventilator machine, and I was hard to ventilate, and they destroyed my vocal cord. And I thank the Lord that Pastor Freddie prayed for me, and the Lord gave me a new vocal cord, and he uh, healed me of arthritis. My God, yes. Glory to God. I feel better now. I got more energy, but I still have sinus congestion, a lot of sinus congestion. Okay. Stick around here. When we get done the testimonies, we'll get to working on the miracles. Uh, God healed my back. I have no more back pain, and I have no more hip pain. And in the process, I think he took the cataracts from my eyes. I have no more burning. You don't see no more blobs? Mm-mm. No. Bye. 2020 in the year 2020. I thank the Lord for healing my knee and my lungs. Now I can run more faster than I did before. Okay. You might even be able to play bowling down in the bowling alley now. 
I thank our wonderful Lord, our head physician, the creator of all this. He gave, he restored my hearing last night, which I had lost for a long time. I helped my actual uh, rotary cups. Uh, I have had surgery on one. And the other one has hurt for a long time. They feel wonderful now. They feel like they're brand new. My back has hurt for a long time. My lower back. He took care of that too. He is the master uh, of all. He is our wonderful uh, spiritual, the creator. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. You boys getting this on the uh, the uh, Facebook tonight, the, the live stream? Good. I'm going to talk to them. Now, all you people watching out there, be healed. I'm praying for you right now. Let the sickness and the disease and the infirmity come out of your body. If you've got a demon spirit of infirmity attacked in you and you're sick from the other world, we bind it and cast it out and change it and put it in the deep. Reach your hand out and put it on the screen of whatever appliance you're watching by. Just touch it while we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, a simple prayer be healed. Noise is not power. Power can produce noise. Power is authority. And if you have authority, you can whisper, and it shall be done. So I whisper to every one of you right now, thou art healed in the name of Jesus. Get up and shout. Put up your hand. Thank God for the miracle. Now do it. Do it right now. And don't say nobody ever prayed for you. Give you a chance. You're a healed character tonight. So you want your sinuses opened up and you're breathing. Here it goes. Raise your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, drain his sinus and let all the fluid leave his head. Take the vertigo and the dizziness. Take the pressure. Take all the pain, all the migraine. Even now, let it drip dry no more. Let it drip and uh, drain in his lungs no longer. Heal even his lungs. In Jesus' name, you may now breathe. Pretty clear, huh? Yep. Amen. Thank you. All of a sudden, it's pretty clear. God bless you. So you've been waiting all night to be healed? Yes. Amen. Now... We're getting ready to see a miracle. And how many knows the devil's out there making a racket already? That helps us to know we're having revival when they do that, you know. So you wish to be healed. Raise your hands to God. You got stress or pain in your back? Not my back. Well, my kidney. Well, that's, well turn around. I'll show you where it is. Right there. Those two spots. It is also there. Now, when you get two new kidneys, the soreness is going to leave those four spots in your body as a sign that you have a pair of new kidneys. And though this is hereditary factor in your family, it's been passed down, you know, in the lineage from the older women that were in your family tree. Uh, you will not go on a dialysis machine. You understand me? Mm -hmm. How many heard that? Are you ready? God, give this woman two new kidneys. Let the suffering subside from these four spots and areas of her body as a sign. That the kidneys are new, a pair of kidneys has been inserted into her body by osmosis. Straight from the kidney shelf in heaven. <laughs> All right? Girl, take you, don't move. Take your fingers and poke there.
What happened? I'm healed. You're healed. <laughs> well, don't cry about it. It's a happy occasion. Of course, if she was a little bit bolder, she'd be shouting, I'm healed. <laughs> to be safe, check it once more. It's all gone? No pain. And I told you the sign would be when all the pain and soreness left, those four spots, you had new kidneys, remember? So we have to agree that it came to pass. It came to pass. Go ahead and give your testimony to whoever don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. You wish to be healed? Yes. Your antennas, something will strike them. Now, you have low blood. Hmm? Yes. You're borderline anemic. So God's going to give you a new bloodstream. You have sore places along the vertebrae in your spine. You know, the bones, the bony bones back there get sensitive. Yes. They're pinching nerves is what they're doing. And you also have a sore spot that comes. It comes and goes, but it'll come here. There, and then on another month, it'll come here. It takes turns coming back and forth. Yes. These are your ovaries. These are female organs. God's going to heal. You have sinus also. You know, you're blocked in your nose. You snore and have sleep apnea. Breathe. Clear? Yes. Run your thumb over them bones. Are they sore? No. <laughs> Ah, sometimes you get sore up here in your gums, in your mouth too, huh? Well, if I just stay with you for a while, I'll find out all about you. You know them joints right there in your jawbone? And that crack and kind of pop out of socket like it's called TMJ. Now you like... God to bless you financially. You'd like to have a little bit of money for a change. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to get some money, in, and I have a suggestion. As soon as you get it, buy yourself a new pair of pants, because the old ones are full of holes. And I hate to see you turn into Raggedy Ann. Bless her financially as you have healed her. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Go in peace. I haven't prayed for you yet. Raise your hand. You want your back healed? Pretty bad, huh? Turn around. Thou art loosed. Cut your toes. Where'd it go? Huh? Absolutely. It's a lot better. It was hurting just standing, just standing and, and praising God. I, I hurt every day. And, yeah, I, I can't bend over like I just did. I haven't been able to in months. I can tell you, you want it perfect? It would be great if it was. <laughs> Touch them again. That'll perfect them. How about that? Awesome. It's awesome. Keep your hands up. Did you know you have a little lump sticks in your throat here? kind of catches you. How long you had that? Just a couple months probably. Well, will you know when it's gone? All right, get ready to know it. Swallow. You swallowed it. Now try and find the lump. Not there. Now that we got rid of it, you need a thyroid, thyroid gland. I'm reaching up to the thyroid shelf. Angel, bring it over here. Thank you. There's the thyroid. Everyone said, yes, Lord. 
You want me to finish praying for you? You have weakness in your arm, your right arm, an old injury to the arm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's being healed. But I got to get back to the right arm. And something scarred it. it cut, you cut yourself. So you did have weakness in the right arm too, huh? Well, it's a good thing God knows what he's talking about, so I can tell you. Heal her right arm first because you showed it to me first. And heal her left arm secondly, right to the rotor. All you skeptics out there, look. Feel better now? I, I want God to touch your ankle bones down in your feet. There's something bothers them. They, they like, it's like they throb. Is that true? Yes. Stop throbbing in your ankle bones and feet. You're healed. Go in peace. Wait a minute. I can't let you go. You got a weak carpal tunnel in your right wrist. What happened to that? Carpal tunnel. <laughs> well, ain't that what I just said? I had surgery in 2004. Let's fix it. Lord, this has been, had surgery now for 16 years and didn't do it an ounce of good. And now she's healed and it's doing her a whole pound of good. Hallelujah. Flop it and see. Oh, you came to the right, I mean, girl, you came to the right place tonight, didn't you? <laughs> Go in peace, space to meet your hoe. Bring the line up. Okay, so I haven't prayed for you yet, huh? But you would like to be healed. Raise your hands. And uh, you have several things you need. I, I'm led, first of all, to pray for your legs especially your left leg, around the knees, around your knees. And then you're going to ask God to loose your rotor cups and the blades in your, you know, your upper back because arthritis is crawling in you and it's crawling out of you now. You might be a hauler, but arthritis is a crawler. What do you, haul something? Drive, drive a truck. What? You're a tanker and you haul fruit grade. Food grade. Well, he is a hauler. Uh, I like to holler that out. Let this trucker be healed in his knees and legs and in his shoulders, blades, and rotors. You do it and see if you can make it hurt now. He did it. And when you came over that one pain point, it quit. See that? There's one point where it hurt. And once you got past it, it didn't hurt no more. That's amazing. What happened, Dad? Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my. Well, how do you know you're healed? Oh, man. I can lift my arm. I haven't been able to lift it in oh, 30 years. God, you couldn't find no one to pray for you in 30 years. Thirty years ago, I needed a shoulder replacement. Uh, and I needed a shoulder replacement. Um, Back, um, how long ago from Dura? No, oh, it's been 20-some years. Carl, yeah. 
25 years, 20? Minimum 25 years. 25 years, they said you had to have surgery. And it took you 25 years to get it. But you got it tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, have you had surgery on your left arm? I've had shoulder uh, surgeries all over my body. Yeah. Both shoulders, um, forearms, wrists. Lay both legs, both ankles. My, um, took uh, bone, uh, uh, bone grass on my back and pelvic. And, you know. Well, you've had your last surgery tonight. Go in peace and thank God for your new body. Glory to God. Amen. They're bringing the blind man up now. I expect this man to start seeing something. What do you expect? Hallelujah. Last year in 2019, the Lord told me, come 2020, that would be this year, I'm going to start passing out 2020 vision to people and start removing all levels of blindness. What's wonderful about this uh, blind fella is that he got the Holy Ghost here the other night. What, what night was that, brother? Which night this week did you get the Holy Ghost? Tuesday. Tuesday night, along with four other people, got the Holy Ghost that night. Not to be outdone, Sunday night, five more people got baptized in the horse trough. They went into a watery grave and came out talking in tongues. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you've lost your sight for how many years? Uh, this since uh, 2019. Um, it was uh, October 22nd. That's ironic because that was a year God said 2020 was coming. In 2020. Now, have you got a little sugar in your blood? That's what I was trying to be diplomatic about. Let's get that out because it's eating your eyes. Sugar diabetes, come out of his blood. Give the man a blood transfusion. Everyone say sugarless blood. Give the man a pancreas in his stomach. One that makes insulin, a pancreas that makes insulin. And the insulin will take care of the sugar without having to go to the meds bottle. Hallelujah. Thank God. And now that he's got healthy blood flowing through his veins, we shall decree that he begins to see. And God will give him back level by level of his sight. Hallelujah to God. Hold his glasses careful. Paws off this man's face. Yes. Take your fingers out of his eyeballs. Clean them. Yes. Peel them. And pull those cataracts. Give him irises and retinas and optic nerves and yes. a macular yes. dysfunction. Degeneration, depart. Life for a look. Oh, God. Give him light and life in both eyes. Even now, let vision come back to his eyes according to the true gift of God. May he see something now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. I want you to look at this fellow. I just talked to him and said, Look, I want you to look at me and just say, Look at me and see God in your face. Now, draw the retina and let it begin to. Uh, grow back on the left eye, but at least let this right eye see the light now. See the light. Uh, this one, you must go on doing good with this darker side. Glory to God. But if we get this is bad now, you can't see it. Well, I want to tell you a story about that in a minute. Uh, 
his eyes are in real bad shape. Glory to God. But could you kind of look up that way, up in the air, and I'm going to come over your face here a little bit and see if any kind of a shadows passing between uh, you and the, the light. A little shadow? Yes, I do. Well, thank God the journey of a thousand miles begins at one step. I take that as a sign, because he was stone blind, he was. But I take that as a sign that God's starting to grow something in here to give him back vision. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> well, thank God it's begun. Now, I must tell you, I've, or I think I've already told you, I want you people watching here uh, on the Internet to understand that a miracle is an instant work of God, but a healing is a gradual, progressive restoration of God. That's why there's nine gifts and not eight. You wanted the difference between the gifts of healing and the work of the miracles, those two gifts? One is instant, one's progressive. Okay, so he's getting a healing. It's starting to grow. And it's God that giveth the increase. Paul plants, Apollos waters, but God gives the increase. Now, I told you I was going to tell you a story, okay? okay. There was a boy exactly my age. Back in the 60s and in the 70s, he passed away young. But he only had one eye. And he had in his right side of his head a glass eye, just like you have in the right side of your head. His name was Ronnie Cohen. And he traveled with the Voice of Healing quite a bit, but he also traveled with me in my tents. I went to jail three times one year because I had him with me. No, we didn't rob the bank. We were disturbing the peace. That is, the devil's peace. At 2 o'clock in the morning, the tent was full of shouting people every time. And, of course, they come after me because I own the tent, you see. My fault, so. But all that night, every night he was with me, he would take the glass eye out of his head and he'd show the big hole up there. He'd spread it open. You could see the big hole. So many times we taped this eye, the, the good eye, the one that you're going to have that's going to be good, Okay. We put handkerchiefs over it and tape over it, then tape and handkerchiefs, handkerchiefs. Sometimes it would be way out here, you know. There was no way that he could look over the bridge of his nose because we just about covered the hole on this side, across his nose. And everything that anybody brought to him, he could read it through that hole in his head. And you know why? T.L. Osborne's sister prayed for him in the uh, 50s, 1950s when he was a kid, where he hooked his eye out with a coat hanger. And he had a glass eye then, and she didn't know it, but she prayed for him anyhow. And he got to see him through the glass eye. Now, he could see through the glass eye, or he could take it out and see through the hole in his head. It didn't really matter. It's God's truth. I never saw a newspaper reporter faint before, but <laughs> yeah. one came to our meeting in Lakeland, Florida, uh, from the Lakeland Ledger, you know, that communist paper down there in Polk County. And he had his flash bulb up there, and he said, Could you read the numbers on my flash bulb? See, that's in the old days. Ronnie took it and said, 674ZH2. 
B nine five, and the boy fell in the sawdust. I can still hear Ronnie. I re I read it, didn't I, boy? <laughs> I read it, didn't I? Needless to say, there was no splash on the front page of the morning paper that a bunch of frauds and uh, shysters had come to town because they didn't dare in those days lie like they lie in these days. <laughs> Hallelujah. So his name is Ronnie Cohen. He went to heaven, but uh, uh, I always got a great kick out of being in church with him because he proved the devil was a liar every night. <laughs> and God had healed him, and he could see through the glass eye or he could see through the hole in his head. So I just want to encourage you, if Ronnie Cohen could do that, you're going to start seeing again out of your good eye. Hallelujah. And who knows about the glass eye? Amen. Take him. Hey, don't overlook the fact that you got new blood, sugarless blood. I got one more thing to ask you. Uh, my lower back. Oh, you want your back healed? Well, that's I've been, in the. I've been dealing with it for the last twenty years now. Twenty years, all right. They want to do surgery, but, but don't, I, I don't feel that I need to have no, surgery. No, don't so. let them touch you. You'll be worse. Yeah. Now, backs are in the perimeter of this ministry, so don't worry about your back. Lushkahashe okay. Salamonda. Receive a new back from the back shelf in glory. Hallelujah. Take my hand. Let's just walk down the ramp here with our new back. Well, how's your back feel? Better than it was. Well, we're not down, we're not off the ramp yet. Didn't even pray for your legs, and they're moving better. Well, what would happen if we prayed for them? I don't know. <laughs> well, I know they'll get better if we pray for them. Lord, loose both his legs and heal them both in Jesus' name. Well, now stop and enjoy your new back. Tell me how it feels. A lot better. I told you back. I don't feel the pressure. <laughs> No, I don't feel the pressure no more. I told you Bax was in the perimeter of this ministry, you see. You see, the thing about ministry is that when God gives it to you, you have to work at it and work at it, but he periodically adds more to it, and it stretches. It goes over to a bigger perimeter, and God keeps adding more to it all the time. Of course, he added that a long time ago. You want to walk with him now and enjoy the walk? <laughs> Hallelujah. There. God bless you. You want God to hear you of something else, huh? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. What else did you want him to do? Well, my legs are pretty messed up. Your legs pretty much messed up. Yeah. Which one is it? Okay, let's take it out. You know, the neuropathy pertains to nerves, de dead nerves. Arthur, come out of this hip. Arthur, come out of this hip. Every nerve come to the leg. Let all deadness leave the leg. Come out the toes. I'm going to step on his toes. There. You've heard of... Laying on a hands, that's called laying on a feet. <laughs> Point of contact. Move your legs, see what you're feeling. You're not feeling the tingling? Well, you're pretty loose, too. Is it any pain in it now? No. no. No pain, no tingling, they're loose. I wonder if he's healed. <laughs> Go in peace. 
God bless you, brother. You believe God's going to hear you tonight? He always does. He always hears you? No, he always hears. Oh, he always hears. Okay. I'll just pray as I see it, okay? That'll be all right? That's what I truly want you to do. That's what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. Your blood pressure's moving a little bit. Going high. You get pressure in the foreplay to your head there, too. But that's from way back. You get hit in the head, something struck you way back. Slight concussion, you see. So that leaves it with a tendency to hurt, you know. So the head's healing. The blood pressure's going down. I feel you're tightening up in your kneecaps here, in your knees. And they're trying to draw, almost pull sideways. Uh, that's cartilage and cushions disappearing between the bones. So let, let's do that now. Pick up this leg. You got bad nerves in that leg, too. Well, it's like I said, I'm pretty bad playing ball. Playing ball. Mm -hmm. So let's just get the other one before we test it. We, we can't have you two different legs here. You're just like a blacksmith, don't I? <laughs> uh, Let's take a few steps and see what's going on in your legs now. Do a little goose step in here. You feel pain in your knees? No, I feel a lot when something that was tore up. That feels a lot better. Which one feels better? The left one. Well, I was checking the right one first. Is, is, it, is it okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going back up the same way we came down. Stop and stomp. Just stomp the left one now. What'd you feel? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's always been stiff. Yeah. Really haven't had much pain, but just stiff. See how stiff it is. I'll bet you could play ball again if, if you could. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a ball player too. I always played ball. Baseball, was that the term? Well, I got tore up playing softball. But softball. Baseball. I played a lot of baseball. Okay, let's see. Let's strengthen your chest right there. That bone. Breastbone, be tender no more. Give him good respiratory. May he never need a pacemaker in this chest. Amen. New heart shall I give thee. Take the stony heart out of your flesh. Give your heart a flesh. And, all right. Live out your days. You, Hallelujah. <laughs> Say, you want to... Brother, would you like to get your ears back, too, while you're at it? Get your ears back, too, while we're at it. Oh, for goodness sake. God, unstop the man's hearing. Let the deaf spirit let go of his head. Unstop his hearing. Let him now begin to hear according to the true gift of God. Let him have brand new healing left and right in Jesus' name. Open wide and deep. Open wide and deep. Hear a little bit louder now. Quite a bit louder. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit louder. Mm -hmm. Just let it so let it hit you. Okay, just let it hit you. We're just gonna wait and let it hit us. Let God heal his deaf ear. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I, 
I wish for you to laugh. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I can hear. <laughs> Acid test. Hear something? Really faint, but I can hear it. What's it sound like? It sounds like it's a machine running. Tick no, no tick tock, but a machine that's running. Like a hump. Mm hmm. That's what it does. <laughs> you hear it, both ears? Yeah. You've got perfect ears. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to explain. This watch has a tiny battery, makes a faint hum. I've had it since 1967, using it to check X deaf ears like yours. <laughs> and when they hear it, they have to have a perfect ear to hear it. And when they tell me tick, I worry about them. But when they can tell me it hums, I know they're hearing it. You got new ears for a bonus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You want me to pray for you again? Yes. For something else. For healing in my body and my hips mainly. Uh, I've done construction since I was 15, and um, I've mean, got an X-ray, and they're a little bit yeah, off. Well, don't worry about it. Go back to doing construction. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Give him yes. constructive hips yes, sir. that can do construction. Let any more x-rays show anything out of whack here. Yes, but give him absolute alignment and no scoliosis. Walk and check your new hips out. Yeah. Go back to work. You've been in the rocking chair long enough. God bless you. Uh, Mike, give me that seminar now. I better say something about it.